Hello and welcome to this week's virtual assembly. This is Mr Murray and the theme this week is one that I am really excited to talk to you about, its community. When you think of the concept of community, what do you think of? Do you think of your family community or your friendship group? Do you think of the community local to where you live? Or do you think of the special community we have at Hinchley Wood? All of these ideas are excellent examples of community. And I want to talk to you today about the ways in which different communities have changed this year, all of which I would say in an incredibly positive way. At the beginning of the lockdown to control the spread of coronavirus, when people were told that they couldn't leave home or go to work or see their friends or family, there was lots of examples of generosity in the community. Many people selflessly volunteered to help those hit hardest by coronavirus and sent, signed up to the NHS Volunteer Responders Service. This could have included driving to pick up medicine for strangers, or taking people to hospital appointments, or collecting shopping for the elderly and vulnerable. About 700,000 people signed up to this service and showed that the idea of community was well and truly alive. We also had the weekly clap for carers which showed the gratitude of the nation to those who worked on the front line in the NHS and other essential services who were fighting hard against coronavirus. It was really the highlight of my week when I stood on my doorstep and clapped and waved to my neighbours, some of which I had never met before, and shared in this joint sense of pride. This lasted for 10 weeks and certainly brought my community together. On Friday the 8th of May, the country was supposed to come together to celebrate VE Day. And this year was supposed to be even more special, with the date marking 75 years since the defeat of the Nazi tyranny in Europe. Although many couldn't celebrate how they wanted to, we did see neighbours coming together to hold safe, socially distanced street parties together. Even in these challenging times, the community has been brought together under the Black Lives Matter protests happening worldwide in response to the shocking murder of George Floyd in America. The vast majority of the protests have been peaceful and the community has made, and rightly continues to make, its voice heard. Of course, the one common thing that has brought the community together is our shared adoration and gratefulness to the work of the NHS and care workers during these last months. This symbol of gratitude is shown through the rainbow, which has become a symbol of the community's thanks to the life-saving and critical work carried out by all of those who work for the NHS and the care service. It is still heartwarming to see these posters in the windows of our homes in our local communities. And personally, I have understood a little bit more about my own local community. I've got to know my neighbours a little better over the fence in the garden, And for a community that isn't particularly known for its community spirit, this mural appeared at the end of my road last week, which just makes me smile every time I see it. But for the rest of the assembly, I just want to focus on the fantastic community that we have closer to home. What words do you think of when you think about our Hinchley Wood school community? For me, I consider the community to be alive and vibrant thriving and inclusive. I am incredibly grateful to work in such a fantastic community and count myself lucky that I have supportive colleagues and friends here and also feel very lucky that our students buy into our community spirit so much. I was already proud to be part of this community but then lockdown happened. I have been blown away by the sense of community that has been created at Hinchley Wood in the last couple of months, given the fact that we haven't seen each other face to face, and I have loved seeing the engagement into our new virtual community. Hinchley Wood has shown its gratitude towards the NHS and care workers with these excellent rainbow inspired letters of thanks, which were sent to a local care home. Students in the Cullen Centre designed their own rainbows that were sent to a local hospital and many of you created I Am Proud posters thanking the NHS and Care Service for all of their hard work to try and beat coronavirus. It was also amazing to see the musical community come together, twice to perform two songs with everyone playing their own instruments or singing in their own homes. June has marked Pride Month and it has been excellent to see our school community embrace this diversity once more. 
Our redesigned logo has featured on our website this month, and many of you completed I Am Proud posters, saying how much you were proud of your own communities. And it's been excellent to see so many of the school community take part in the community challenges each week. The PE department have been updating the leaderboard for their weekly PE challenges, and excellent work has been displayed on the school Twitter feed every week as part of Wonderful Work Wednesday. The school community also came together remotely to climb mountains remotely and achieved a fantastic height whilst raising over £730 for the NHS, which is an absolutely superb amount. Miss Archer has also led the Hinchleywood Community Reading Challenge, which many of you took part in. And last week's community challenge was to spread the positivity during these challenging times. The entries that I have seen so far have been an absolute joy to read. Hinchleywood School had a fantastic community. I now believe that it has an even better sense of community that is alive, vibrant, thriving and inclusive. And I would just like to finish with this thought. There will come a time in the future, perhaps in the next couple of weeks, perhaps during the summer break or even perhaps next year, where we will all stop, pause and reflect on what we have been through in these last strange and challenging months. I do hope that when it comes to your moment of reflection, and you may be someone who has been personally affected by the devastation of the coronavirus, that you do think about the wonderful school community we are part of. We have the support of each other, and it would only be at Hinchley Wood where we could strengthen our sense of community without actually seeing each other. Thank you for listening to this assembly. I hope you all have an excellent week and I really can't wait to see you all back at school, hopefully in the very near future.